peace forever and always. This is your brother, Talik Ibn Ra, and this is the Reality's Temple on Earth. Before I begin, I would like to say uh, to those who uh, say that there are no positive uh, black man videos, then if you miss this one, then you have missed perhaps the ultimate positive black man video. And if you listen to the series of this particular video, then, and understand what I'm saying, then you'll find there is no more need to go back and forth bickering with females. It is unnecessary because you will know your role. Is it possible that the black man can become God of the universe? There's no doubt he's not now. But could he? Was he before? And could he become later? I first like to warn those black men who are very sensitive, please do not listen to these words. So it is best that you go and find you one of our lost uh, sisters to argue about how great black men are and she'll return the favor and tell you how great black women are. And perhaps y'all can have a nice uh, time together uh, in your playground. However, this video is for mature adults and I expect uh, the result to be from uh, a mature mind. Now, prior to this video, I did make one and the black woman, it was called, and the black woman made man. And in that particular series of videos, I did say that perhaps women were uh, natural leaders of the family unit instead of the men at one time. The video did not suggest this in fact clearly stated in the conclusion that our connection is a relationship of equal and mutual respect. So, if you believe that I am saying that the woman's role, or it's natural for the woman to have the leadership role, really, you're not understanding what is being said. I am saying, for both men and women, regardless to race, actually, there must be equal and mutual respect. One knowing their position as part of a team. I did not say that women necessarily were supposed to lead men at the same time there is no evidence that can be produced why is it that they as females cannot also lead. The real question is not who is in position of leadership but who is closer to creation. Being one led over another doesn't make you closer to creation. So men have become greedy, not only wanting the leadership position, but also a need to be seen as the one interconnected to creation. And they've taken this position from women by force. Until this day, men use force and technology to deny women their rightful place in the order of things. A woman's womb gives her the connection to the origin of life itself as the man becomes jealous, as he was not given such an honor. But then if he understood his role, then perhaps he would not be so jealous, because one cannot function or survive without the other. 
Men do not understand this concept, but prefer to take the woman's role as it sounds better. For example, uh, some record producers just can't stand the fact that they are behind the scenes making the records for somebody else. They become envious of those that make the hits with all the fame and self-glorification. So they step up and use resources available to them uh, that they could give another person more worthy uh, that's less talented than themselves because they want this fanatic love placed upon those he makes hits for. Whether or not the producer is successful or not is, is not the point. Point being made here is we have a person that has become sick in the mind, becoming jealous of another because he believes his role as just being a producer is not as important but without the producer these artists and the record companies will be broke. Anyone in the music business will tell you the important role that a producer plays and actually the more money some producer can obtain in that position. So men have taken over the role of women because they do not understand their role in what we know of as creation. So men have become jealous of women. So he must exploit her and use his power to keep her down. He must keep her down because she is almost capable even physically of what he is able to accomplish. And if she recognizes this thing, she will question his position as being leader. And this is what men in power so greatly fear. Doesn't this sound familiar, black folks? If anybody can understand this, the black man or black people, descendant of slaves, should be able to understand that because we uh, were placed in a position, an inferior position, destroyed. We were denied leadership position. Those who enslaved us said it was natural for blacks to serve whites. Notice the word used uh, is natural. And even today, black men who have been through this horrible ordeal with whites will now say to the black woman, it is natural for men to lead you. Hmm. This sounds hypocritical. See that word natural. It was used at one time the Caucasian racist slave master said that it was natural for the white man to rule black people. It was natural. And even used the Bible to justify slavery. So now, the script has been flipped. So now that men say to women, it's natural, even according to the Bible and Quran, that it is natural. This is what God wants. God wants us men to be over y'all, ladies. I like that. They said this is natural. Natural according to who? In this society, they produce products for our consumption that markets itself as natural but contain chemicals like high fructose corn syrup. Anything that is processed or taken out of its original state that cannot be grown from seed or born of animal is not natural. Corn is natural. Corn flakes is not, as corn flakes is processed, but may be advertised as natural just because it came from corn. If corn flakes, oh wow, woo! If you get the time, you need to check out my other video, and I'm this is self advertisement. Check out the video, White Power, finally understood. And relate what I'm saying about this corn and how they relate 
being natural, the process corn being natural to corn itself as a being a natural thing, then flip the script, make it so where we're how we're saying how the white man, racist Caucasian people, or Caucasian people are uh, natural as far as black folks is concerned. Watch the flip the script. One is natural, but one has been processed. Just think about it. Just let it let it uh, uh, marinate in your mind a little bit. Time is running out on this video. I check y'all out on part two. This is part two. I'm pretty sure. We was talking about what is natural. Okay. Notice the word natural. And today black men who have been through this horrible ordeal with whites will now say to the black woman, it is natural, natural for me to leave you, to leave you. This sounds hypocritical as black men placed into an inferior, who were placed into an inferior position as, as when white men said that it was natural for them to leave or enslave blacks. But now, putting the woman in that position, they said that it is all right. They said this is natural or natural according to who? In this society, they produce products for our consumption, like I was saying about the corn. And saying that it's natural when anything that is processed is not natural. In nature, the various life forms, sometimes the male is the leader. Sometimes the female is the leader. Sometimes it is a shared experience. Did you hear what I said? Sometimes it's a shared experience. However, the bottom line is one without the other is death. And man's sickness to be number one has caused a great separation and it is clear that death is the result when those who are supposed to be the one uh, or, or those who are supposed to be one are now divided. So it also should be no shock that this world ruled by men separated from the woman is one of death. Everything he touches is death. World full of murder and destruction all being victimized by what we call the seven deadly sins. A victim of sin because the man has separated himself from his partner. That could uplift him when he stumbles or uh, another one different from himself. But now when he falls, all he has is a, another man who behaves and thinks like him. So the result is, as the Bible questions, or says, can the blind lead the blind? Whether I like it or not. I am a child of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. His teachings are at the root of my thought process. Well, you say, some of y'all might say, well, this don't sound like no Muslim teachings. I did not say I was a follower of the teachings. I said such was at the root of my thought. And uh, he taught me to question all things and never be a robot. And this doesn't mean that when it comes to his teaching, uh, such doesn't apply outside of, of his own teaching. Now, if, if I was a follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and he taught me not to be a robot, is he telling me this doesn't apply to his teaching? Of course not. As a follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, we were taught that the black man is the original man, Asiatic black man, the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet Earth, God of the universe. Now, I'm getting to the part that is going to really piss some men off, if I haven't by now. If you, black man, are in fact God of the universe, then this should qualify you to be leader not, of, not only of women, but the universe itself. 
the question is or arises do we qualify to my knowledge at this time this planet was not called Earth it was called Asia and the separate land masses at one time were one I haven't verified this information but I was told from a reputable source that ancient maps do refer to the planet as Asia regardless this dark European calling himself black may be from the genetic material now the dark European that call himself black that are, that's those who are descendants of slaves who have no connection to Africa have no connection to Asiatic people black men except by name you have no idea what they're about we have the minds of our teachers and our teachers are racist Caucasian people living in this society for over 300 years so we are or I call us dark Europeans we just call ourselves black we haven't made it there yet we may be of them or related to them but in our minds our mentality is not there because if our mentality was there we wouldn't be having this conversation today we have become mutated or tainted due to our being manipulated for over 300 years by a foreign and unnatural and strange people unlike ourselves or what we once were so if qualification as being leader is being Asiatic then in this we do not qualify also since you are not Asiatic you are not the original man as a mutant or a hybrid is not original the black man of America listen now the black man of America is like a pickle that used to be a cucumber once pickled a cucumber cannot be returned to its original state so you are doing yourself a disservice and it is futile to believe the black man can return to what he once were meaning it's futile to believe that you be you and I can become the Asiatic black man that's not what we are anymore because you black man you black woman because I'm pretty sure some sisters might be listening to this also we have become pickled by being thrown in a jar and locked in with the vinegar of racism and oppression and human enslavement mixed with the spices of hatred by his enemies as well as hatred for self you will never be the original man taught to us by the honorable Elijah Muhammad however just because something is pickled doesn't make it foul as pickles are enjoyed by many and pickles unlike cucumbers have a long shelf life so the original man, Asiatic black man, was once high, but because he had a, a, a short, really, or his shelf life was made was made short, now for him to return back to himself, or we as a hybrid or mutant though we carry his genes we have the ability because we have become pickled we have the ability to have a long shelf life unlike a cucumber that is a perishable and our people have and was made to perish they were conquered they were destroyed they are nothing they are not the Asiatic black man who was the maker and the God of the universe no longer exists he became perishable now we who are his children placed in a jar being pickled we can come out of this and have a long shelf life if not eternal life 
Now that we have become pickle or been pickled, we are wasting our time trying to be a cucumber and wasting our time attempting to love those who pickled us. Our mistake is not having the ability to understand that we've been through a change and we're holding on to past ideas when we should, if we were self-thinking persons, instead of blind followers or individuals, so far, we do not qualify for leadership position. We don't qualify. So, we know that we're not the black man. We know that we're not the Asiatic black man. So are we the maker? What have you made black man lately? You are a consumer, not a producer. Even in 2009, the men do not even have toilet paper, the factories in which, so our people can wipe their behinds. That's something else. That's a uh, sad in itself. I think the next part is going to be part three, so hold on with me. And we're going to go there. All right, this is part three. Are you following me? Okay. Now, keep up with me. If you can, I always on these series of videos, I always put, uh, I guess you would call it the transcript in the more info box. So, if you're sort of losing me or just want to go over, uh, because I know I might be speaking a little bit too fast, and if you want to catch up or try to get better clarification, please feel free to go to the more info box. So, we are a different people. We are not the Asiatic black man. We're not uh, Asiatic. We're not... Uh, so, we need to find out who we are. Or what we should be. Know our potential. Are we the maker? We don't even produce toilet paper for ourselves. And what little black people do produce, it benefits the nation or America. The nation that hates you and me. And uh, what little do black people produce, you happily share it with the nation that is biased against you. You make no job. For yourself. You have no farmland. You have no cattle. You depend on those that dislike you. To satisfy your needs. You go to them. Your enemies. To help you solve your internal problems. Because they smile. And they shake your hand. And they wear a tie. How you doing black man sir? Could I interest you? In a Ford Focus? He going to offer you a full focus because he know black man. You got lots of money, but you won't make your own car. And y'all like to drive and sport off cars and trucks. But don't have no factories. And don't cry that black people is broke thing. Because black people get a lot of money out of the American economy. You and I do not qualify as a maker. What you do make so happily are children that you abandon with various women. Not all black men, but you know we got a habit of that. And it's true. I have heard the laws are against men. Why are the laws in family courts against men? First of, first of all, men know Men know, or, or they show hatred towards women, when the women did not make not one law. All the laws were voted on by men, and men enforced them, and these men make these laws, because these other men are sick and tired of taking care of somebody, another man's children. The court gives males opportunity to seek 
relations and give financial aid as well as custody to fathers. But we all know for generations, just lately, because slaves, men who were slaves didn't abandon their babies. They wanted to, but they were denied the right to raise and love and take care of their children. But here recently, today's modern black men of which you should be saying, because if I behave that way, I, would, I wouldn't even want to say I'm black. Just say I'm a savage beast of animal. You don't even act human being because animals don't run around abandoning their babies on purpose the way you do. It is so sad that today many black men have no interest in their own flesh and blood. And y'all Men are so cowardly that you want to blame women, but women did not make the laws, nor are they the ones abandoning all these babies. It is cowardly not to blame other men who made the laws, or the countless men that abandon their children every day. Thus again, we do not qualify as being leaders. Leaders do not abandon children or leave their women unprotected. Which now brings me to the end of these qualifications of which you and I both know we do not qualify. We know we do not own the earth as the racist Caucasian male with no doubt is the ruler. Could you be the cream? Cream is used to dilute a strong drink or top perhaps a wonderful and ooh, delicious dessert. We are not cream as we have become foul. And a strong drink. We have become foul. We are woman beaters. And child molesters. And lovers of other men. And I'm sure the cream mentioned here. Is not the kind you use with your lover. Nor are we a topping. One would want to put on top of some dessert. As you do not top sweetness. With something foul or distasteful. And indeed in the eyes of the world. This black man has become distasteful. So as cream, we do not qualify, thus are not a uh, leaders, least to say, God of the universe. Hold on to me. Hold on with me. I know you might be a little angry. Just hold on. Hold on. It's a positive video. You got to take that bad with the good. Because we sure got a lot of bad. But if we understand and stand up like men, we can turn all this around and become somebody or something greater than what our ancestors ever was. Follow me a little bit. The picture I have painted does sound, uh, does not sound very good. And I would hope that we dislike it. What is most wonderful for us, but bad news for our enemies, is that even though we have given up on ourselves, the creation, or that which brought us into being, has not. I am a leader, I am head of household, so you scream. It is natural, you say, and you claim that it is, and you are quite correct. But it's not for the reasons you and I were taught to believe. What makes you head of household or leader of women? Because you accept your position as being her helper? Okay. The woman is your connection to the womb of the universe. Anything that you can imagine in your mind, she can bring forth from her womb. And that life will enable you not just to explore her womb or the life on this planet, but bring forth the knowledge that will allow you to go beyond this planet into the womb of space itself. Y'all understand what I'm saying here? In this way, and only way, 
you can become more than just a leader of which is uh, uh, which is meant uh, minute more than head of household but you can actually become a God of the universe that brought you into being it's nothing spooky about it it is real and attainable perhaps now not in our lifetimes because we're too tainted and too messed up mentally and physically we're not of the right material for it but we can place our future generation on a path where they can attain what we missed out on this is wonderful thing this is wonderful teachers man if you get with it stop tripping and fighting and bricking over with women back and forth and the man and this and the woman says she that's not what it's about this is about understanding your and my role this is about the black woman understanding her role our position it's not about who is number one and who's number two because without number one and number two your bones die and that's just the reality of it although black man the world was given by creation a closer connection to itself we play a very important role as we are the protectors not only of the woman but of creation itself so you are correct in that you are the head of household or the leader of women oh, but you got to understand it not from what we've been taught. Fly with me to the next video. Woo! <clears throat> We're back. We're back. You still with me? Because I'm going to talk about the black man's role as far as being the head of household. You are correct. But you have to look at it in a in a uh, different light listen now listen to what I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm what I'm trying to tell us you are correct in that you are the head of the household or leader of women not for the reasons you believe but because we are their defense we are their protectors President Obama of the United States, he's the leader, they say, of the free world. And uh, he places his life in the hands of the Secret Service. They become the leaders. He must listen and be guided to, to how they believe security or how things are supposed to go. Even though Obama is the leader, the Secret Service or they must secure his life as he represents the people of this nation. And if he is harmed, it makes the nation become dysfunctional. So, black man, we are like the Secret Service of the universe for our women and the universe. We are the protectors. They will submit and must submit because we are here, black man, to secure our genetic survival. Secure our place in the universe of which we cannot attain except through the woman's connection. And if she is harmed, like if Barack Obama is harmed, then it could bring to us as a people dysfunction we have failed the black woman being her secret service the racist Caucasian men have tainted her for 300 years she will never respond to us properly till we become her secret service and defend her against foreign attack So brothers and sisters, 
should we be shocked in that we suffer so horribly as the black man wants to be leading and head of the household in name but does not function as such. Individuals, now some individuals, some men have become worthy of, of, of this honor of being uh, leadership material. They qualify. But overall, as a collective black man, the reason why we're in the condition that we're in because we have failed as a collective, not as individuals. There are plenty of successful brothers uh, working in this nation, having wonderful family units. But we as a black male collective, we have failed in our duty. We have become leader wannabes. But any man on earth can have our women. Who is your connection to the universe? You want to be leader. And exactly what do you want to lead this black woman? Since you want to be head of household. You want to be the leader of the black community. You want to be all this admiration. You want to be given credit for being uh, the great leader. Where you going? Where you going to lead us leader? Where you going to lead us? Perhaps to the liquor store, to the strip club, to the drug house. That's where a lot of y'all have been leading us to. Leading to where perhaps a better spot in the white man's house. You're not leading us out of America. You want to lead us to get closer to the man who caused all the problems to begin with. To Martha. You want to be uh, the world's greatest American city son. Is that where you want to live? How one of the women? The woman don't want that because she's connected to the universe. She's more than connected to the conqueror, this European racist Caucasian American um, uh, male. That's why she don't respond to you. You don't represent power. You're not being her secret service. You want to force this woman and share a home with our black women in another man's house. You pay equal taxes, if not more. You die on the battlefield for America, but you're not treated equally. So why you want to stay and keep your woman here and be roommates with people who don't treat you properly? She's the way women are looking at it. I might as well stay, love and be with the conqueror because my secret service has failed me. What is so sad, y'all men are quick to believe you become a man because you left your mama's house. And it's good that some of y'all men and a lot of you have left your mama's house and your parents' house. Don't mean that you, that don't prove really that you're not no man. Because you're still living in the white man's house and you're scared to leave that. So I don't see, for me, I know you don't impress me. Bring the garbage to me. With your man self. You, you're not behaving like a man. That's why the women. And the children. Don't respect black men. I mean it's good to prove that you. Can become independent. However you are still in love. And dependent. And your survival depends on another man. And the other man. This racist Caucasian American people. Prove over and over again. They don't like you. You feel you want to leave mama's home because you can no longer get along with her. And you want to show your independence. But you claim you love mama. You are a leader and a man but refuse to even attempt to leave this racist man's house. Or show him you can become independent. Because if you show the, if you show the white man that you can become independent... He'll look at you in a whole different way. But as far as he's concerned, you are a boy. That's why he called you a boy in 2009 and called you a boy back then. You behave like a, a child, like boys do. This shows us how cowardly black men in America have become. And that you degrade and make mockery of women 
of whom you should be protecting, but beg and try to do all you can to live with a man who lent your fathers and uh, raped your mothers. In conclusion, and uh, these pitiful ass women make things worse. Because they don't know who they are. They don't know their connection to life. Instead of encouraging their secret service to do their job, they believe they are just as capable to be their own secret service. And when it's all said and done, they've proven that they are failures because that's not their position. As only a man can deal with a man. And only a God can deal with a God. And there's nothing spooky. There's nothing spooky about it. God only means it's a title. It only means one who possess knowledge, force, and power. And that's, that's all that it means. Many of our black women have become silly. Trifling, whore-like, and all this. That, that means, come on. They are a product of slavery. Food is thinking. They don't know who they are. Just like we do as black men. So in her ignorance, brothers, that's why y'all keep going back and forth. You, we're doing this in ignorance. We don't know what the hell we're talking about. Because when I debate you and come on your page and ask you some questions, you don't even know how the hell to respond. Because you're just arguing in frustration and venting frustration, having no knowledge, you're in a position but don't, don't know how the hell to get up. So in the black woman's ignorance, trying to be like a man, or finding joy in being used as a tool for sexual exploitation, running the streets naked, cursing with foul language, unable to make correct choices, laying with anything that has a penis, she doesn't know she supports this protector. She doesn't know that she should put on some clo uh, clo uh, clothes on to help him to concentrate. Because her mouth and her flesh is distracting this black man. Hold on, y'all. These time runs out. I'm going to try to bring this to conclusion. So, brothers, I mean... It's no coincidence that they keep naked women, naked ass in front of your face 24 hours a day. Keep your mind in the bedroom. And the, a lot of these black women are doing it. They don't know they're doing it out of ignorance. She don't know that keeping your mind in the gutter, chasing her naked ass, she is causing her secret service not able to do his job. If you place naked women around the Secret Service, even around President Obama, it would hinder their job performance. I can guarantee you because they are men. Men like watching naked ass, you know, women with no clothes on. I mean, you're just attracted to that. And they might be trying hard as hell not to look at big boobs hanging and butt shaking. It bothers you and it interferes with your job. Excuse me now for, for my ignorance uh, as I forget the actual term. But in science, it is taught two objects cannot occupy the same space. At this time, extreme evil occupies this space and have taken us hostage. We are not evil. We should not submit to that which we are not. We are not like the rulers of this world. So brothers that are, are upset with the thought that women are in some way the leaders of our people, then talk is cheap. Step up your game. We are not evil, but two objects cannot occupy the same space. And if we are not wicked or evil, then as, uh, if you are the man as you claim, then you need to remove the power 
that makes it look like we are also just as evil as they are just because we're uh, males. We need to take those evil and wicked men out of that space that's meant for us to rule. It was not by chance that we became pickled. It was an order given by the creation or that which brought us into all life into being within the natural order of things as we are better than the original. Now, the time for us to claim our space is upon us. This is not nothing spooky or mysterious, brothers and sisters. This is why we should never abort our babies as the answer to our prayers might just be waiting in one of our sisters' wombs. All of the prayers and wishes of our ancestors, as well as our own, are now being placed into a position in that they will now be answered and come true. As I said before, a pickle has a very long shelf life. And once we accept the responsibility of and understand who we are, there is nothing that can stop you and I from taking back our rightful place in creation as we are the sons and daughters of the original creation. Brothers, black men, you and I, and sisters, brothers, we are not homies. I'm not your homie. I'm not your dog. Sisters, you're not a bitch. You're not a hoe. And none of us are niggas. This is something your enemies wish you to be as they do They do know, unlike yourself, who you and I really are. As I began to see the position of woman, what is it that the powers that be, what is it that they fear? They fear your and my awakening. They know once you black man become awake, all the power they thought they had or think that they got will not be enough to stop you from reclaiming your throne. Again, we are not niggas. You know who you are? You know what blood runs through your veins, black man and woman? You and I, we are the black man. We are black men. We are the children of the Asiatic black man, the original man, the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet Earth, God of the universe. Ain't you happy? That, don't that, that's good news for us. I'm extremely excited just to know that. I'm extremely excited to let us do what is natural and bring this creation back to where it once was so that we may go beyond this planet and conquer the universe. The universe belongs to you black man and woman. It may not seem like it because we're in the whole house or the liquor store. But we got the potential because we, we are all the original people. This universe has not changed. It is original. We've just been tainted by an unnatural and strange people for over 300 years. Come on now. Embrace your black woman. Bring her. And accept your own and be yourself. Stand up black man. You can accomplish what you will. This is your brother, Talik Ibn Ra. And I love us, man. I do. I have no choice. I want us together. All this infighting. Haven't we learned anything from the past? It's time to get the devil. We, it's time to get the oppressor off our backs once. And for all. Once and for all. Ain't you happy? I know. This is great. What a wonderful time. We are the catalyst. We're the beginning of the great change. Hand it down to your baby so they can take it into uh, fruition. Into 
the greatness it can be. Then they can go back in history and say, my great, great, great grandparents. I know them. I got them on tape. They started this thing. That's why we are what we are today. And they can be God and goddesses of the universe. Not because they run their mouth. Not because the title sounds good. Because that's what they are. Peace forever and always. This is your brother Talik Ibn Ra. Aslam Alaikum. Habar Regani. Shalom. And all the wonderful words we know of that greet us in peace. This was and is the reality's temple on earth. Peace.